Hello. Today's video will be on Album Gen and how to create a master page to be used in uh, any album. I'll show you how to create a template page that you can use to add to any album. We recently had a customer who was um, creating his exhibit pages and wanted a quick way to set this up. So the first thing you need to realize is that by default Album Gen offsets the page border so that holes can be easily punched um, for easy placement into albums, three ring or otherwise. So if you notice here, um, the left margin is larger than the right margin, and this is so that we can, you know, that you can punch holes and the page, the design of the page will be centered. Um, now, exhibit pages must be centered, and, and most exhibit pages do not have uh, holes. Uh, they don't need holes to be punched in them. So uh, page borders must be adjusted. So what we'll do is we're going to create a template page for use with exhibits. Then you can use this uh, master template to paste into any album using the page copy and page paste options from the page menu or by right clicking on uh, the page and select the copy and paste options. I'll, I'll demonstrate those. You can also remove the borders entirely. So let's start with a brand new album which I have here. So as you can see, the borders are offset so that holes can be punched on this left side and the page is centered against the holes. Now to adjust the page options, we go to the File menu and click on Page Setup and then you will adjust the margins. The other way to do it and what I usually prefer to do is just right click and go to Page Setup. So then you select Margins now you can set up your margins any way that you like but what I do is I I like to have uh, 12 point seven millimeters that kinda um, keeps it the way uh, uh, centered um, for uh, exhibit pages and I usually leave the headers and footers alone or uh, the the border width alone for now so as you can see what I've done now is we have a page that when you print it out it will be perfectly centered. There's no room for punching holes. Now um, a lot of people like to put titles on their exhibit pages. Um, you don't have to but you can. So again um, to put a title on the page you have to right click and go to page setup and you go to the header footer area. I'm going to put a center um, title and I'm going to call that first flight covers and we'll leave the default font for now and as you can see I'm going to zoom in on it for you a sec so I usually tend to uh, bring those titles down a bit. So again, you just right click, go to page setup, header footer, select the uh, area that you want to adjust, and I'm going to drop it down by three millimeters. And there it is. And again, we can change, uh, uh, we can do this all in one, sh uh, one step, but I'm, I'm just kind of showing you um, how you would do it otherwise. I'm going to change that to a 16. Um, point font. So I've now got my page set up the way that I want and if you have any other specific things that you would want on your page you can do that. Um, one of the things that I um, tend to do is if you notice this gray area, let me zoom in on it so that you can see it. Um, this area here is called the no print area. So what that will uh, allow you to do is if you place an object on the page, it will not let you place it too close to the frame or the edge of the page. And you can adjust that to your own, um, own requirements. And the way you do that is you go back to the margins area and the border width. I usually leave it as one millimeter. But again, this is a personal preference and you can change that any way that you like. And if you see now, that um, that no print area is basically just a millimeter. You can change it down to nothing if you like. And again, if you want no border at all on your page, again, just right click on the page 
and then um, for the border style just select no border and there will be no border you still have a visual cue of where that no print area is so if you try and move an object off the page it won't let you it this is like a, a visual visual kind of cue so let's say that this is how I wanted to uh, I'm gonna actually put that border back so that we can see it when I uh, when I adjust it Okay, so I've got my uh, single line border on there now. So once all your settings are done, you save the, temp uh, the template. So I'm going to go and save this. And I'm going to call it First Flight Master. And there it is. Now, before I close this master, I'm going to copy the page into the clipboard so that I can paste it into any album that I've got uh, created or uh, uh, just paste it into a brand new one if I like. So right click on the page and select copy page and now I'm going to go file and create a new album so I now have, oops, uh, I saved that uh, actually I'm going to do control new. So there's a brand new album now, if I was doing an, an exhibit, I don't want to have to go through the process of creating those uh, that template that I wanted every time. So if you just right click and click on paste, you now have uh, uh, the template that you wanted to use. So it'll be consistent for all your um, all, all your exhibits. Now I can. Uh, I'm going to add a couple of uh, first light covers that I have so I can show you how, how easy that is as well. So I'm just going to put a, a frame on there and I'm going to adjust it the size that I want. I'm going to right click and go to image, add change and add my cover. And then if I want to add another one, I'm going to control C to copy it and then control V to paste it and I'm going to change the image on this one and then the usual kind of um, you know things that you can do um, which are explained in other videos but you can uh, center these so I'm going to group those two things so control G and treat them as one so I'm going to center it horizontally and vertically and now you can save your album and away you go. Now, if you want to, uh, if you want to add that template page to an already existing album, you can also do that. So, if I go to File Open, I'm going to save that as my thing, and I'm going to open up an album that I've uh, been playing with for a while. So, here's a, a U.S. album that I've uh, created. And I'm going to start going through some of the pages. And if you can see, this, this album is created for uh, a three-ring binder. But let's say for whatever reason I wanted to have a couple of pages that were, uh, you know, exhibit pages as part of this album. You can you certainly do that. And I still have that page in memory. So if I go paste page, it's now pasted that uh, page uh, that we created for first flight covers and then you can still you know go back and forth within the album so you can have multiple page types within uh, any specific album and the other thing I wanted to show you during this uh, this training video is occasionally people will call us and say hey I created a page and I'm getting this red background on uh, on my on my page when you actually print it you will not see this red uh, background it's just a warning to you and what that warning is is that you have placed some text within that object that is too wide to print properly within the frame so what you need to do is right click on this and go to text and then what you want to do is that text was with uh, below the image so that's inside the object. So right there, that, using the font uh, sizes that we have, that's too too big. So you can do two things. You can either break it up into two lines, and now you'll see that that has gone away, and the text is still all there. What it's done is it's shrunk the image a bit so that it'll fit the type that you want. Or what you can do 
is you can go back there and leave it as one line but change the size of your font and we can maybe make it a six and see if that makes it fit and no it won't work so in our case we have to break it into two two lines and click OK so similarly I'll do the same thing with this one you right click on uh, text and you change it into um, two lines and click OK and that's all done all right, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video and stay tuned. There will be plenty more. Bye for now.